just going to do a quick video today on the Times crossword for Monday. Um, what I'm going to focus on today is the anagram types of key clues. So I'm going to actually just take a look at the crossword and I'm only going to look at clues that I think might contain some sort of anagram. So remember when we're doing this we're going to look for words that indicate that other words need to be shuffled or destroyed or altered in some way. Um, so let's have a look and see what this uh, this crossword looks like. Okay, wild like a kangaroo. Well, actually the word wild like, um, that could be an anagram indicator. Um, but in fact, I don't think this one is. I think this one we need to think about the actions that a kangaroo might do in order to solve that one. Sunscreen and singlet I put on. Again, not seeing anything there that indicates sort of shuffling of letters. Proper to fix name of race. Well, to fix, that could indicate an anagram, but I don't think it would there. And the reason I say that is that I can't see um, eight letters in a row that would be in the right part of speech. So, for instance, proper to fixed could indicate an anagram of the letters proper to, but proper to fix cannot and that's quite an important thing um, let's go on for unruly lot oh that that looks like an interesting one although an unruly lot could be a mob i guess hard to get into subject of parable hmm. well it might be an anagram i don't think it is but i i'm i think we should move on it's not an easy anagram if it is olympic sportsman who joins panels no, there's nothing there to indicate an anagram. A grass mutates like this into a weed. Well, that certainly looks like an anagram. It's a partial anagram, in fact. So, a grass mutates. I hope everyone watching the video will be thinking, oh, that could be an anagram of a grass. And it is. Um, but that only gives us six letters, so we then need to work out what the rest of it means. Like this, into a weed. Well, the word into there is helpful because it suggests that what's preceded it should be wordplay, i.e. it's, you know, it's maybe an anagram, it's maybe, you know, uh, some sort of charade or something. But in the end, we're going to, uh, we're going to turn the wordplay into a weed. So we're probably looking for an eight-letter weed that begins with an anagram of a grass and then has a two-letter word that means like this. Have a think about that. Um, the answer, I think, is sargasso. Let's carry on. Posh accent that gets Parliament going. Mm, no, I'm not seeing that. And going could just about be an anagram indicator, but um, we need 12 letters and Parliament gets is 13. So that's not, I don't think that's looking like one. Um, one no longer keen on farm machinery, that does away with stream. Um, again, does away with, I suppose that could be an anagram indicator, but I, I think it's more likely to be an indication that something is removed from something else or even does away with in the sense of killing. Um, so let's carry on. Girl cold, losing pounds in odd places. Hmm. No, I don't think, I was wondering whether odd could certainly be an anagram indicator, indicating an anagram of places. But then I'd need to turn cold losing pounds into two letters, and I can't see how to do that. Um, L can be an abbreviation for pounds, um, but not LD, I don't think. So let's move on. Sailor comprehending what ocean is, turning dial. Hmm. Again, I'm worried that that could certainly be an anagram of something. Um, turning dial is heavily hinting it might be an anagram of dial, but I'm not sure because sailor comprehending what ocean is is making me think I need a short word for 
a sailor surrounding a word for what the ocean is I don't know what that could be maybe sea or something like that and then to turn all of that that string I've just created and I, I, I think or I suspect that this might be a clue that means dial uh, drop off tin with leak Uh, okay, so this one is, again, you would be perfectly entitled here to think this could be an anagram. The word off can be an anagram indicator. Um, but in fact, and I think this is a very good tip, whenever you see anything that is uh, capable of being abbreviated into a chemical element, always be suspicious and think about that. Um, however unlikely it seems based off the surface reading of the clue. So here we've got drop off tin with leak. Well, I tell you that begins SN, but which is the chemical element tin. Um, you might be able to think of a word that means drop off here, and you'll find there's a four letter word that means leak at the end. Um, back in the morning, queuing at this station. Now, don't see anything there that indicates anagram. A very short book. Uh, nope, don't see anything there. Unavoidable shortly to do favour for politician. Again, there's nothing there indicating anagram, so quite unusually I think for the Times crossword. I've only found one clue that I'm very confident is an anagram in the whole of the across clues. Uh, trying to escape joining in a marathon. Okay, well that's, that's uh, it's a very easy clue, but it's not an anagram. Uh, hurt as I dropped vessel. Again, Hurt can be an anagram indicator, and I just pause there because as I is obviously three letters, but you c I'm pretty sure no one would be able to think of uh, what dropped vessel could be defining. I mean, it doesn't mean anything, a dropped vessel. So in fact, here, you're, here the way this clue works is you're looking for a four-letter word, which means hurt, with the I dropping out of that four-letter word, and you'll find that gives an answer, which is a vessel. Improved new freezer. Well, again, new could be an anagram indicator, but we need five letters, and um, you know I'm not seeing anything there that would uh, that would help. So the way, in fact, this one will work is it will be N will be an abbreviation for new. You need a four-letter word for a freezer, and the whole thing will mean improved. A feet type wearing silk into unruly hair. Oh, well, unruly hair. Could that be an anagram of hair? Let me just think. Weaving silk. No, I don't think it is, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's an anagram of silk, I think. Um, so I think this will be, uh, well, I know what it is. It's, it's an anagram of silk, weaving silk into a three-letter word which means unruly hair and the whole thing would be in a feet type so have a think about that do pause the video now um, you know we've got the s there and that's going to form uh, that's going to be the s of silk there so we need to put an ilk somehow in the middle of this word the answer is milk soap Confuse, again, that could be an anagram indicator. Confuse with combination of noise and dirt. Okay, well, here we do have another anagram. Um, and in fact, I think this means confuse. Uh, and we need to use a combination of the letters that we get from the word noise and the word dirt here. Um, confuse and let me just think about what it might be. Okay, yes, I have got that. So it's, have a think about it again if you need to, but it's disorient, I think. Hard worker on heroin, a danger on computer. Uh, no, I mean, I'm not, not seeing anything that would indicate this is, um, this is an anagram. I mean, the way to get this this answer is to think of a six-letter word for a hard worker. Um, if you get that, uh, you'll you'll almost certainly get the answer. The other way of doing it is to come up with one of the five-letter words for heroin. Now there are a lot of those, I think. Um, but anyway, either of those will help you with seven down. 
under pressure, let out chlorine word. Okay, so again, I'm not seeing anything there. Well, let out, I guess, could be an anagram of let. But again, I'm seeing six letters here. And one thing we do have to bear in mind whenever we're on the hunt for anagrams is not to get hung up on it if we can't see an obvious way of making the right letter, number of letters. Here, P for pressure is a very standard abbreviation. So you're looking for a five letter word, which means let out. And you'll get a six letter word, which is an imploring word. And I'm sure you've all got it already. But anyway, let's move on. A brilliant gun means to lift in a couple of hundred pieces of fuel. Um, okay. No, that is uh, it's a very nice clue, but it's nothing to do with anagrams. And, I, I, and indeed, if we read the clue, there's nothing in there to suggest, suggest an anagram. Start blazing row, full of feminine emotion. Again, I'm not seeing anything there. Blazing, I guess, could be an anagram indicator. Um, Start. Mm, no, I'm not sure. I'm certainly not convinced that is an anagram. One with a tale to tell. Finished interrupting queen. Again, nothing there to tell me that there's an anagram in that. Very poor baby, small uncovered. Uh, again, nothing. There's no indicator of an anagram there, so we can move on immediately. Chap grabs glass that girls left. Well, I don't think this will be an anagram, but one thing I can tell you, if you read the clue slowly, sometimes it gives you an idea. And I can see how the word glass contains within it the word lass, and a lass would certainly be a girl. So I'm thinking this is some word for a chap that's grabbing just a G, which is going to be glass without its lass, if you see what I mean. I'm not sure there's much wine in it. Okay, so I mean, I haven't done that, so I'll just type it in. It's magnum. So we've got man around the G, and then I'm not sure is um, a, a way of hesitating. So we have to remember that wasn't an anagram. Um, confess about part finally in police operation. No, it's a very easy clue, but it's not an anagram. Random allocation of large amount. So in fact, today, I've only found three clues in the whole Times crossword that I think are anagrams or partial anagrams. So pretty, um, uh, pretty unusual, I'd say. But um, I hope this gives you some encouragement that you know you can, if you want to, just try and focus on one particular type of clue. You can do it. If you look at the letters we've got just by doing this; they're all very helpful. I mean, wild like a kangaroo. We can now see that's hopping mad. Um, oops, if I can type sunscreen and singlet I put on uh, sunscreen I want that to be toppy which I think is a type of hat which would be a sunscreen so yes I suppose a top is a singlet there we go that's that one uh, trying to escape joining in the marathon you're on a run if you're doing that. Uh, this was pain without the eye. This was nicer, so N and ISA. Uh, proper to fix name of race. Uh, proper. I thought that was nice anyway. Uh, to fix name of race. Proper. I don't know that one, that's a bit silly. Uh, I don't know that one. This one's going to be Trojan Horse. This was Please, so let out there was Lease. Uh, for unruly lot, hard to get into subject of parable. An unruly lot. Uh, Sure. Uh, Olympic sportsman who joins pals. Mm. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, Queen's speech. Something that gets Parliament going. 
I'm no longer keen on farm machinery that does away with steam extractor fad. Very nice. I'm no longer keen on is an X farm machinery tractor that does away an X fan, I see. An X fan is somebody who's no longer keen on farm machinery. Uh, oh no. No, I'm wrong again. It's an X tractor fan, somebody who was a tractor fan in the past. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, no, I didn't have any ideas for that one. I thought this might contain a reversal of C, didn't I? But that dial. Mm, not sure. Let's come back to that one. Uh, this one was snooze with ooze after tin. Uh, back in the morning, queuing at this station. Uh, not sure if a very short is a most short, and Amos was a book in the Bible. Um, oh, the bright guy was a clever clock. So the way that one worked is it was uh, CC for a couple of hundred, because C is 100 in Roman numerals. Um, a means to lift is a lever, and then pieces of fuel logs. So, very nice clue. Start blazing, set fire to. And this is row full of feminine emotion. Feminine emotion is F, ire. F for feminine and ire for emotion. And set to is a row. Is a row. If you have a row with somebody, you have a set to with them. Uh, very poor. Baby small uncovered. Mm, huh. Okay, well there you go. That, that one is a type of hidden. You should be able to see the letters of abysmal there in the middle of baby small. And uncovered here is this saying, take the really extreme letters, take the opening B and the final L. And if you do that, you're left with abysmal, which of course means very poor. Uh, one with a tale to tell, finished interrupting queen. One with a tale, sounds like a narrator, doesn't it? So why is it narrator? Finished. One with a tail. Tail finished. Interrupting queen. Mm, I'm sure. We shouldn't put it in without understanding why it's right. Um, right. Confess. Oh, this was sing around T, so that gives us a sting there for a peace operation. Should be able to get this now. Unavoidable shortly to do favour for. Uh, okay, so this is obligatory. Obligatory without the uh, ending of the word oblige. Random allocation of large amount. No, lot, maybe? Not sure. A girl cold losing pounds in odd places. What's that one? I don't know. A sailor comprehending what ocean is turning dial. No. Back in the morning, queuing main line. If you're queuing, you are in line. So that does look like lot there. Uh, it's not. Ah, pardoner, maybe. I wonder if this is a reference to the Canterbury Tales. I think there was a pardoner. Pardoner. So why is that right? One with a tale to tell, finished interrupting queen. Catherine Parr was a queen and done. If something is finished, it's done. Lovely clue. Uh, sailor comprehending. Sailor comprehending what ocean is turning. Dial. A sailor could be a speedo, maybe. A speedometer. So, how did I get that? Well, um, a sailor is an ordinary seaman. OS and then comprehending what ocean is. Well, the ocean is deep, so if you put the 
well, if deep in the OS and then reverse it, you get word for a dial. So, in fact, when we first looked at that clue, we did understand how it worked. We just couldn't solve it. We needed the letters. So we're left with about four to do. Uh, Olympic sports when he joins panels. Well, that's going to be a fencer. Uh, proper to fix name of race. I don't know, can't I see what that is? Um, proper. Keep just looking at it and seeing the word stencil, which isn't very helpful. Or utensil. Um, Uh, for unruly lot, hard to get into subject of parable. Uh, this is where my biblical knowledge is letting me down, I suspect. Ah, no, an unruly lot is a shower. There was a parable about a sower, I think. So that's how that one works. Go cold, losing pounds in odd places. Um, It's hard to know what the definition is here. I can't make up my mind whether I think it's girl or in odd places. Oh, I see, I see. It's chilly. It's chilly without one of its pounds. That would give you that. And then a girl could be pat, and then patchily would mean in odd places. That's pretty difficult. Um, okay, so finally, proper to fix name of race. Oh, okay, all right. Ethical. If something's ethical, it's proper. And if you add the end name to that, you get ethnical, which means of race. So I think this is right. Um, I don't know if this was instructive today. I hope so. Um, it was. Um, Interesting puzzle, interesting way to go about solving the puzzle. I'm not sure I'd recommend it uh, every time, but certainly if we want to hunt for anagrams, um, you know, you can see how you can eliminate a great many clues as just instantly not being relevant. And if you work very hard on the ones that you think are, you can make a good start. And I suppose that's the lesson for today. So thanks very much for watching, and see you again next time.